God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So y'all, if you joined me yesterday, I think it was pretty lit. Um, and thank you guys for the comments. Thank you guys for the likes and, and the shares and all of that. I appreciate you guys rolling with me on this thing. Um, but uh, Monday, we talked about all these things. That was Matthew 6.33, okay? And on yesterday... I kind of went in on Psalm 37, 4, seek your happiness in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart. And I basically correlated that with waiting, you know, and if you, if you, Hey, if you know, you know, if you have not checked it out, you know, the drill, go and hit the link be uh, below in the uh, description. Excuse me, y'all. You know, I jumble up sometimes on here, but y'all know my heart. I'll be jacking up my little words sometime, but it's okay. My bad. Hit the link below and grab the ebook y'all. Grab the ebook. Now, the last series I kind of followed by page, but on this one, I kind of want you to just do your thing and figure it out and just take your time with it. And this book is not as long, but it's still thorough. And I'm basically, I'm basically transcribing what I'm saying on the video. So, you know, it's a little bit different. I do have some powerful quotes and some scriptures, the same type of format, but just, you know, just a little something for you to have, just to help you to get some perspective on why you're waiting. So y'all, let's get into it today. Day three. I know y'all gonna like this. Today we're talking about good success and prosperity. Yes, Lord. Because this is what we want, right? Not the prosperity gospel. We don't do that over here. You can move around. Y'all know I am about that. I don't be doing all the asking for money and all of that. Joe. We don't do that here, okay? I do have paid subscriptions and services. I'm gonna drop the link at the end of this series so y'all could get on my Patreon because that's gonna be up and popping starting April 1st. It might be April Fools, but it's going to be April fun with us. Hey, anyway, I want y'all to get with it. Let's go to it. We're going to Joshua chapter one, verses seven through nine. Let's check it. It says, only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all of the law, which Moses, my servant commanded you do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all what is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed. For the Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go. Mm, mm, mm. That's a good one right there. I love that scripture. And by the way, y'all, the scriptures that the Holy Spirit had given me years ago when I did this, this I think it's seven years ago I, I originated the series. But y'all, like those are some of my favorite scriptures, truly, because I kind of feel like other than the book of Proverbs, Proverbs, they're like pro tips on life. Like if you just follow these five scriptures, that's pretty much going to get you set. Cause it just, it, it just gives you all of the basic like go tools so that you can be on one accord with the Lord. And it doesn't make it super heavy. You don't have to be like, Oh my God, I got to do this, this. It's just not a whole lot of pressure. And that's what I like. Mm. Yo, I think I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to do a video talking about the Lord talking about no pressure. Oh my God. It's like, it's odd. Cause you know how we say, you know, in our minds, we say no pressure, but the, the slang right now is, Oh, she pressure. Oh, he pressure, whatever. It's, I'm going to have to do a play on that because something just dropped in my spirit. That's going to be on my Patreon. I'm going to break that one down over there. But anyway, y'all, check this out. So y'all know oftentimes when we pray and we ask God to help with what we're doing and uh, then we work on it. Like, you know, usually we'll say, hey, God, you know, um, I want this to happen. And it, and if you really if you really understand the whole point of reaping and sowing and, and if you work, don't work, you're going to eat whatever whatever capacity that's in. Once you understand that, you know, we'll say, Lord, you know, help me with what I'm doing. And then we'll say, now that you've given me the help, or I'm trusting you. I'm going to put legs to my prayers. I'm going to go ahead and work. Right. But here's the thing. This is usually exactly what we think is going to get us what we're asking for when we are in the waiting process. Okay. So I, I don't know. I kind of feel like the way I said it, I think I should say it another way too, just to be extra clear. It's almost like, 
Hmm. No, let me say it this way for you. Yeah, I have notes too, but y'all know sometimes, although I have the notes and I did all of the study and I have all the research, I always try to yield to the Holy Spirit. So if you're not used to me, that might be a little annoying if you're not used to my style yet. And I apologize. And I have tried to edit that, but then it's like, yeah, no, I'm a free spirit. It's not going to go anywhere. So if it annoys you, I'm truly sorry, but it is just, it's just a, a quirk in my personality. So yeah, I do run-ons and tangents a lot, but I usually circle back. If you're not really used to that, if you don't like that, you're probably going to run into that a lot here. So I want to be honest with you and tell you that up front. If you don't like that, my bad. Probably not going to stop though because I've tried. It's not working. I just think it's who I am, right? Anyway, what I was saying though, y'all, is like you've done all of the work to where you got to a point in your life where you understand, well, God is not like Santa Claus. I can't just write out a laundry list of what I want. I do. There is some things like, you know, what it says, what I, uh, faith without works is dead. Prayer in another version says prayer without works is dead, right? So I'm, I'm really coming from that vantage point. So I know that there are a lot of you who are already in that place where you know what? Well, no, like I pray and I work. I graduated. I don't just, I don't just pray. I actually pray and work. But y'all, you know something? When it comes to the weight, like I said, it is only partially true. Okay. Because here's the thing. If, we, if you're a Christian listening to this, we do have some instructions in the word. Okay. Now watch this. Now we're going to break this down. The first thing, y'all, you have to be courageous and strong. It, it, it's like you can't do it while willingly allowing yourself to be overwhelmed. So what I'm saying to you is... and. The title of this was Good Success and Prosperity. Mind you, you can't even get to that on the level that you know you're supposed to be on until you do the first step. Be strong and courageous. Okay? Listen to me. When you are not strong or courageous, you automatically take on fear in that space right? What is connected with fear? Do you think the words courageous and strong go with the word overwhelmed? Or do you think the word overwhelmed goes with the word fear? In my lowly opinion, I think it goes with the word fear. We can be overwhelmed with blessings too. And we can be overwhelmed with, with a whole bunch of stuff. But when I'm trying to be strong and courageous, I'm not trying to be overwhelmed with nothing. I'm just trying to be busy being strong and courageous. Okay. Now watch this. Right after that, it says that you have to know the law, <laughs> a.k.a. the Bible, and do not turn away from it. So here's my question to you. The person who's waiting on something, you are furious with God right now. You are sick and tired of being sick and tired. You are very annoyed. You are very disgusted. Here's my question to you. While you're waiting and you're angry at God, just hear me out. Are you currently in a state of being strong and courageous? Are you currently on top of standing on the word of God that's going to help anchor you while you're waiting? I'm about to make y'all mad. If you're not doing that, why are you mad at God again? Ouch. Seriously, like, wouldn't, wouldn't the vibe be... I'm going to be mad at you because you didn't do what I thought you, what you said you was going to do. Right? Not, I'm mad at you because I gave you the instructions. I mean, excuse me, because you gave me the instructions and I just didn't follow your instructions. So I'm mad because I didn't get the result and you're a bad person and I'm so angry at you. Y'all, that's weird. Do you realize y'all breaking that down like that is really giving perspective. A lot of us have been angry at God for things and we didn't even set ourselves up for him to do it if he wanted to. A lot of y'all waiting on, I got chills saying that, a lot of y'all waiting on God to do stuff right now, but you not even taking care of the first part. He like, listen, how dare you be mad at me? I told you six months ago when, it, when I dropped this in your spirit that this was coming, that you needed to make sure you started to build up your courage and your strength in me. You know, I tell you all through my word, you know, I'll make your burden easy and your yoke light. I'm going to make you strong. I'm going to make you courageous, daughter. 
I'm going to make you strong. I'm going to make you courageous, son. You're not even pulling on me for that. Come on. And you mad? You want to argue? You want to uh, I can't argue with you. You mad. It's <laughs> hilarious to me. But that's how some of y'all are. Y'all got that plies posture right now. You know, it's like, listen, that don't make no sense, y'all. And you want to know something? We get so caught up in our little friend groups and, girl, I'm so mad. And, you know, just like me, honey, I'm a victim of it. I can't say that I wasn't and that I'm not. But, man, I'll be over there talking to my girls like, man, it's going to be all right. Telling my boys, oh, it's going to be all right. But we all doing the same thing. I had to really unlearn that. Because it's like, man, I'm over here. Instead of saying, well, did you do X, Y, and Z? No. Right? It's like, my question is, why are you coming at God in frustration when you're not keeping the book of the law on your lips and you're not meditating day and night? That's what that whole word was. Are you at least like trying to keep up with the word of God? Are you at least trying to fill yourself up with the word of God? Or do you want to just pick like a scripture like here and there and then say, oh, that's my favorite scripture and that's it? Like, that's not really how it works. And mind you, let's be very clear. The price was paid for you already. So by no means am I telling you, you have to do a whole bunch of tricks to get God's attention. That is, that is a lie from the pits of hell. The price has already been paid for you. So let's, let's cut that up right there. Cause I'm not out here giving you no loosey goosey, willy nilly word. That's not what we're doing over here. But I do have to break this down. Because if, if the whole book of Proverbs talks about how in order for you to get this, you have to get that. Proverbs is a practical book. Proverbs tells you what it is. But sometimes in some of these, these chapters and books with the smaller prophets and with some of these other figureheads in the Bible, like Joshua, there's a whole narrative on how God was like, okay, listen, you about to go into this whole thing, Joshua. It's a whole bunch of stuff you're about to walk into. But let me make sure you're straight. Look, make sure you're on my word day and night. Make sure you're strong and courageous. Make sure you handle your business. Because when you handle your business, prosperity, good success. I got you. That comes with it. So I don't want you to get this twisted like I'm telling you you're inadequate. You shouldn't leave You shouldn't leave this, this, uh, this YouTube thinking... Oh, I'm such a bad person. I didn't do that. No, get out of that victim mentality and just own your stuff. Just own it. Just own it because you don't have to feel that way. You just have to sit down and say, I'm over here crying about a man. I'm going to every, I'm doing every ask, that's the fast. I'm doing, I'm going to every counselor. I'm paying the money to go on all these retreats. I'm praying, I'm fasting, I'm this, 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 this. I'm, and the truth is your motive is not right. They got a lot of men that say, oh, I'm a man of God, but you, you chasing money, you chasing tail, you chasing this, you chasing that. But then you mad when stuff is not coming the way it's supposed to. You want to argue with people, but you really can't because what you know, God promised you has to meet these requirements. That does not mean that you are required to be a way for God to love you or for God to bless you. That's independent of that. But it is very clear, anybody that got some say-so about themselves in this word of God, they got instructions specifically for them. So why would you not be that? He's no respecter of persons. The, probably, the only reason why you probably don't have a chapter in the Bible is because guess what? That wasn't in your time. We living it out right now. We living it out right now. The chapter's going to come through the YouTubes in a hundred years. Y'all see what I'm saying? It is what it is for the time we're in. So this is not to knock you down. This is not for condemnation, but this is for conviction because I want y'all to get out of the demonic trap of feeling like, oh, I'm waiting forever. Oh my God, no, no, no. And you don't even realize before I get mad, am I really paying attention? Seriously. Like before you get mad, are you following the instructions? Now, if you follow the instructions and you're still frustrated or, or you stunting sometimes and acting like you do it, but then you're mad because you're not getting brownie points because you like, see, Lord, I'm waiting. But everybody else, they're over here dating people. They're over here doing get rich quick schemes. They getting money and doing all kinds of stuff. But see, Lord, I'm not doing that. I've got all of the spaces in the church. I do all the good deeds for all the people. See, listen, I'm going to call that demon out because that thing be trying to trip people up, making them more higher than they ought to be. 
Trust me. I told you, I don't talk about nothing on here I ain't been through. That has happened to me, and I have been that girl. Believe that. You get tumbled real, real quick, my friend. Okay? We gonna spill tea over here, boo. We not playing them games. We got to keep our foot on the devil's neck. But you want to know how he 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 up there kikin? He is cracking up, laughing at us behind foolishness. Cause he's like, look at them, these dodos. Not even look at them. They not even paying attention to what the Lord is telling them. Even we know the word better than them. And mind you, we ain't no dodos. But y'all know how I am. I'm pretty colorful on here, so don't take that personal. But y'all get what I'm saying? It's like I don't want y'all to miss this part, right? Because the thing is, y'all, that word didn't say. Once a week, he didn't say only when you go to church on Sundays and we in a whole pandemic. Many people have not gotten back into the church house yet. So he not talking about when you have an online service or when you're doing virtual Bible study. No, that don't count for that. That counts for something. Don't get that twisted either, but that don't count for this. Because again, check your motive. Is your motive to do these things to impress God? Or are you really following what he's saying so that you could have the dopest experience ever? That part is on you. Right? Listen. When God talks about, when we get to that part, check this out. When it says, you shall meditate in a day and night that you may observe to do according all that is written in it. And then you shall make your way prosperous. And then you will have good success. Y'all see what I'm saying? We got to stop just reading the screenshots and the stuff I put on the community page. I love it. But let me tell y'all, so I'm about to say it. I got to say it. Whenever I put something of substance, that's not just God is going to bless you. God, all will be well. You're a blessing. A miracle is on the way. Oh, yes. God loves you so much and everything's going to be perfect. I post those types of things all the time because I just like to share those types of messages. But don't you think for a minute, I mentioned this before, but don't you think for a minute, it does not escape me that whenever I talk about something, I did a post one time about your health. When I tell you that thing was down at least 60% than the other, other post, when I, when I do the little post saying, hey, I'm posting a video talking about Blah, blah, blah. And it's not something that's saying, oh, you're going to get a kingdom spouse. Oh, you're going to get a big house. You're going to be rich. The numbers drop down. But one might say, well, Robin, if the numbers drop down, why you keep doing it? Because I'm not doing it for that. But God also gave me insight to see that this is what people are hurting. And people could get mad. You could get mad waiting on God all you want. But a lot of people mad because God is not doing what they want them to do. They really do want God to be Santa Claus. And that's the elephant in the room. Many people don't understand that good success and prosperity, that's my money. That's what I was waiting to say. I wanted to say that till the end. Good success and prosperity, my baby, that is not money, honey. That's a little part of it. But let me tell you what good success is. Good success is really understanding who you are at your core, your character and your personality and understanding that when people tear you down, that you bounce back up because you know whose you are and who you are. That's good success. And you want to know what's prosperous about that? That allows you to prosper into the orbit in which you belong with the proper people who belong in your life. Not only that, the proper experiences, the high level, opulent, prominent experiences for you. Everybody not flashy. Everybody don't need none sparkly. If you if you're the quiet, calm person who likes monochromatic things and, and, and mild tones, then you'll get that. If you're the person that's ostentatious and you want all of these great things to come in big form and fashion, then you'll get that. But those are the things that that come when you follow the instructions. Again, it's not that God can't bless you with those things just off GP. This message is for the people who have had or currently have the audacity to be mad at the Lord. And we didn't even do what he wrote right out there for us as pure instruction so that we can get it on the level it needs to be done. And I'm going to tell you this too. Another thing while I'm studying this whole topic, because I've been waiting I like, I'm like a historical waiter. And that again, that's a child, that's a story for another day. But I've historically waited for things for a very long time, right? And what I learned was the overwhelming part, like every day when I had to really get into the scripture and really get like Holy Spirit wisdom and knowledge on it, at its core, every it, it's, it's the same issue every time. It's a different way to view it, but it's still the same core issue, Okay. And that core issue is simply that 
People don't want to do what it requires. Let me tell you, I'm not going to say people don't want to do the work. Cause let me tell you about the work, about work and what the Bible says about work. The Bible says in one instance, if you don't work, you don't eat. But it also talks about an instance where if you think your works are going to give you the things that you're supposed to have in life, you will be sadly mistaken. If your entire narrative is on them, a work, 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 guess what? That's going to blow up in your face. I can promise you. You want to know why? Not because it's a word curse or I'm a villain. That's not my idea. That's what's in the word. Because God says, if you work so much and your entire vibe is, that's all you got to do. And, and oh, and I'm going to just throw them a sprinkle guide in it every now and then. That's not going to, that dog ain't going to hunt. That's not going to work. Again, that's not no Robin ideology. That's not me hating. That's me just repeating what, what we all have in the same access to the same word of God. Nothing should be predicated on how much you work. God will bless the work of your hands, but the work of your hands does not validate the price the Lord has already paid for you. That's why he still says to work is a good and honorable thing. That's why he says that. That doesn't mean that you make it obsolete, but you can't just throw the Lord on things and sprinkle it. That's not how it works. It's just not how it works. It's levels to all of that. It's levels to it, right? Now, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. And now we're going to go out on this one. Let me tell you what's happening to some people right now who they're under the guise of this is something the Lord gave me and I'm doing this. Let me tell you what they have. They're having bad success. Because let me tell you, the opposite of good is bad. They're having bad success. But to the world, it seems like good success. Because I'm going to tell you right now, anything you acquire from a place that's not the right place, and, and meaning if it's not rooted in God, anything that you do like that and, and, it's, and it's just not decent and in order, if they got little holes in it, it's not going to fly. I'm telling y'all. Been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. Your motive and, and your purpose. See, I just kind of feel like when it comes to motives, that's a little weird to me at this point. I've grown so much in some of these spaces. It's not so much about a motive, but man, what's your vision? I told y'all before, it's not about what you drive. It's about who drives you, what drives you. That's what God is looking at at the end of the day. And it should always be him with that steering wheel. We laugh and say, oh, Jesus, take the wheel. Child, that one, God is my co-pilot. Oh, no, I don't subscribe to that. I'd be like, hey, God, I'll be in the back chilling in, the, uh, in first class. You got it. I don't need to pilot nothing. I give you full control to help me. And I, while I'm sitting there in first class, I'm like, okay, you say, hey, Robin, I need you to do. Okay, bet I'm doing it. But I ain't trying to do God's job. I don't want to be God's co-pilot. I, I, hey, that's great. Because I do know when I do things, I do things in tandem. I want God to be the pilot and I want to be the passenger. First class, of course. <laughs> VIP, of course. Fine dining, of course. Yes. Elegance, of course. But at the end of the day, it ain't going to work with me no other way. Again, trial and error. Don't, don't listen to your girl thinking, ooh, she saw that. No, baby. Your girl got receipts. I'm about to be spilling the receipts, though, so stay tuned for that. But here we go. Good success only comes from the directions in the scripture, y'all, period. I don't even have to say a whole lot on that. This could be why you could be feeling overwhelmed with God, y'all, truly. Um, if God has to do something for you to prove himself to you, you might not be prepared to properly receive what you're waiting for. Sit with that. Run that back. Rewind that. So this one I'm going to ride out with. It's really simply put. If you are waiting on the Lord and you read this Joshua scripture, okay? And you are just trusting him. That's our anchor scripture for today. But don't you don't have to lock in on this one. Continue to just, just, to just calm the word of the Lord. But listen to me, y'all. Get into your word. I've had so many struggles with that over the years. I go back and forth and I'm up and down and all of this stuff. And that's what I always try to tell people. I have never said I was perfect, but that's how I can always tell how somebody views me. That's how you can tell how somebody views you. Because if you make a human mistake and have a human flaw, or you, you have some type of issue that, that becomes exposed. And when you get treated like you can't make a mistake, I'm telling you. That's, that's always going to be God showing you what's really going on. So 
I say all that to say, get back in your word day and night. And I'm like this, listen, I got a book called Pep Talk Prayers. Y'all know that shameless plug, link in the description, but period. Like, listen, I do the little short prayers. I get it. But y'all, I do the long hours and days and weeks and wailing prayers too. But I try to create something like pep talk prayers and even these little series because I know it's a lot for y'all sometimes. Me too, y'all. It be too heavy sometimes, right? Like I get that. That don't mean I waver and I don't believe in the Lord and I don't believe Christ is here with me. No, I don't. It's none of that. But sometimes the human part, y'all, it just be a lot. It be a lot. And people are afraid to say that. I'm not afraid to say that. I'm not. We're human. Yes, we spirits and human bodies, but y'all, we still got to deal with the human part. We can't X out the human part. It's just necessary. Okay? We have to pay attention to that. So even if you just start with a scripture, let me tell you the easiest thing for you to do. For my, for my person who's listening and you're like, you know what? I never heard this girl before. Let me give this a shot. Let me tell you what I want you to do. I want you to download the Bible app and I want you to either set it up on your text messages or your emails, whichever one, or turn on notifications, whichever one can come to your phone or your email. I want you to have it where you pick a time and you set it and every day at that time, you're going to get it and do it twice if you can. Try to set, you can set another alarm, I think, or you can do it on your phone too, where something pop up before you go to bed and something's on your phone when you get up in the morning, right? Some, now I know my routine is not necessarily where I got to hop on the phone in the morning that early, but... If you, if, if you are able to access your phone first thing in the morning, don't check your text messages. Don't check your missed calls. Don't do any of that. Just go straight to your word first. Like, you know, first fruits, always think first fruits. So go to the word of God first. I'm not even good at that all the time. Sometimes I get up in a tizzy if I'm running late or if I get up too early, I'm kind of killing time. And sometimes I don't do that successfully easy, uh, excuse me, either. So I want to be transparent about that. But I also want you to know that you can set yourself up to win. And again, you are not doing this to get God to like you or for God to bless you. He can still bless you. You have all the price has already been paid. We're very clear on that. But this is about if you are frustrated and you are overwhelmed with the weight because you have not gotten something. Okay. That you feel God should have given you and you have not done what he gave you right here in the word to do it so that you can be in position to receive it, not to receive it. You're already worthy to receive it, but you have to follow these instructions. It's a position. You are moving from position, my friend. Okay. Listen, if you talk about it, you marinate on that word, you meditate on that word, get in meditation. Y'all meditate on the word of God. I promise y'all it's going to spell a prosperous life. That's how, that's how you do it. You're going to get good success and a prosperous life if you follow these things that he said. And remember that that reference scripture again is Joshua chapter 1 verses 7 through 9. Y'all, it's been a good one today. And I definitely want to see y'all tomorrow. Who coming up? To, who rolling with me tomorrow? Where y'all at? Let me see y'all in the comments. Let me see in the chat. So tomorrow is called a reward. And I'll give y'all a little bonus because I don't have this part public. Tomorrow is going to be on Psalm 19, 8 through 11. So if you want to start reading it now, that'd be dope too. If you want to get caught up, hit the link in description. It will give you the playlist and you can get caught up on this episode and the other two as well. Thank you guys so much. I love y'all. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Oh God hits.